Live your life without regrets. Do I have any regrets about cutting my hair off four weeks ago? Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski. I want to talk to you about the past month and how it's been to actually look like a complete different person. Stay tuned. That's right, guys. It has been four weeks since I cut off my hair. And um, do I have regrets about that? Uh, I proposed at the opening of this clip, living your life without regrets. And I have to say that I do not regret cutting off my hair. Um, it, as I said in the video clip, as I was getting my hair cut off, it felt good, felt liberating to finally uh, change up my style. I felt like uh, my hair was looking a little long and really it had been long for the better part of 2020. Um, I have gotten some uh, comments from people like, you grew your hair and you did not even live with it for a while. And honestly, I think that I did. I think that my hair had been long since March, April of the year. And uh, by December, you know, I had lived with long hair. Was able to put in a ponytail, put in a man bun, wear different ways. And so I felt like I had not necessarily exhausted everything that you can do with long hair, but I definitely uh, played around with it enough that I felt content uh, that I, you know, exhausted all the, the potential looks that were there for me. And I was ready to cut it off, as I had talked about. Um, you know, the pandemic threw a wrench in my bigger global plans, which would have involved a global trot across the pond to get a haircut. Um, but no regrets in having Jake cut my hair at the bar, uh, Beard Brand Barbershop. So, um, no, no regrets here. It's actually been super easy for me to um, deal with my hair now um, um, in terms of washing it. Hair wash day with uh, when you have long hair is a ordeal. Now I wash my hair once. I'm actually um, using the Beard Brand shampoo. I'm not even conditioning it most days. Um, and I'm back to using uh, sea salt spray uh, in my hair. So what I can do with my hair now is uh, basically almost let it air dry as you've seen in other clips and I will be doing a tutorial on how I get this uh, current look in my hair which is kind of a you know messy pompadour in the front going pretty high on the top um, and you can be looking forward to seeing that video but um, my styling routine has changed and so you're gonna have to check back for that video and I'll tell you specifically how my styling routine has changed from when I had long hair and what products I use to having short hair and now which products I use. So back to the regrets. I have none. Um, people have asked me, wow, you know, your wife seemed pleased. And I said, yes, she was pleased. She did not dislike my long hair. Um, and, um, but I know that she likes my short hair. It's a look that uh, she's been uh, comfortable with, that she's seen me a lot with. And so this is actually um, my, I think, my signature look. This is the haircut um, that I will inevitably kind of always come back to. And having a shorter beard, yes, a shorter beard. Not only did I cut off my uh, hair in December, um, I had just on the barber shortened my beard. And even since then, in the past couple of days, I've shortened it even a little more in the front. So um, I have a shorter haircut plus a shorter beard which will give me a new look for 2021. So um, no regrets on my part, but what has the reaction been besides my wife? So she loves the hair and uh, my kids actually said, huh. And I have to say, that's generally the response that I'm getting for everyone. Yeah, okay. Um, not as dramatic as when I shaved off my beard. So the way I felt when I shaved off my beard was definitely, wow, that's my identity, that's changing the way I look, that, that really changes the way I look. Um, this is kind of what I look like when I pulled my hair, long hair back in a ponytail. So I don't think it's as dramatic to some people who were used to seeing me with my hair pulled back or pulled up um, or tucked behind my ears. It kind of looks like this from the front. So once again, not as dramatic a change even though cutting off 14 inches of hair plus is a dramatic change. And all due fairness, not a lot of people actually have seen me this month. 
Uh, we're still in the midst of um, some lockdown in Philadelphia uh, with offices, um, uh, people coming to the office pretty sparse, and I had actually been quarantining myself after traveling to Austin. So I wasn't seeing as many people face to face, but I've been on a lot of Zoom calls. So I was on Zoom calls with my office, I've been on Zoom calls with a small group, and been on Zoom calls with family members. And I have to say, for the most part, no one noticed in my office <laughs> for the first week um, with my Zoom calls. And, um, and a lot of people just didn't even notice. When I actually see, saw people live in person, uh, they actually said, wow, that's great. You have come back to the look that uh, we know you for. Like I said before, this, I think, is my signature look. This is my signature hair length. And so other people see that, know that, acknowledge that, and they're comfortable with that also. Um, do, you know, do I um, gauge um, or how I'm going to do my hair, how I'm fixing my beard on the reactions of other people? Um, I value um, people's opinion. People say, whose opinion do you value? I value the people whose opinions I value. How about that? Um, if people say, hey, listen, you know, you might want to change that or look at that, I take it seriously. Um, but if someone says, I have a preference this to that and we have not a lot of history, I take it with a grain of salt. But, um, you know, a lot of people have said that's a good look and people that are close to me. And so I take that to heart. Um, here's a story, though. A good friend of mine, I've known this woman, Brooke, for 20 years. And we were actually shooting these pictures. And um, she has actually shown up probably in the background of some of the videos that she shot of me getting my beard trim and my hair trim. And um, so we're out for about an hour and a half uh, doing an outdoor photo shoot. And um, it had been right after I cut my hair. And I, she didn't say anything. And so finally um, I said, hey, Brooke, you know, what do you think of my hair? And she looked at me and she said, oh my gosh, you cut off your hair. And um, I didn't tell a lot of people in advance that I was cutting off my hair. And I didn't tell her, but she also didn't notice. So once again, not as a dramatic change as I thought. So is it because a lot of times my hair is pulled back like this? Or is it uh, because I've come back to the Greg Brzezinski signature look? And I think that's what it is. I've come back to a look that's very comfortable for a lot of people who are used to seeing me look like this. So um, was I disappointed by other people's reactions? N no, because I didn't grow my hair long to cut it off to get a reaction. Um, you know, I grew my hair because I wanted, you know, for the reasons that I had laid out before in some other videos. Um, but um, the reactions weren't as dramatic as I thought they were going to be. And that's fine. But it, what, really what it told me is that I have a signature look that people are used to seeing me look like, which is this. Uh, for the past six years with a beard and, you know, medium short hair. And this is a look that's comfortable on me and a look that other people are comfortable with. So this is it. This is the Brzezinski signature look and a look that I will probably continue to come back to. So people say, people have been asking me, Greg, are you going to grow your hair back? And would I ever grow my hair back that long? And I can say I probably would never grow it this long again. Um, I don't think there's a need for me to have a long hair that long. Maybe if I grew it long, it might be in this length. Um, and as I said in the video, I'd probably grow it out with layers, which is a better way, an easier way to grow out your hair anyhow. Um, but um, I have no intention in the short um, time frame to grow my hair longer. Um, but will I be changing my hair? Um, and the answer is yes. Um, I changed my hair a bit. Um, I changed my beard length a bit. Uh, if you notice, uh, toward uh, the end of the year, I will grow my beard longer for Santa season. I've, I've been playing Santa for the past uh, three years now. And so I will grow my beard longer to do that. Um, so, um, but would I cut my beard shorter than this? I may. Um, but I know that I'll also be playing around with my hair length. And people say, why do you play around with your hair length so much? Or why would you change it? Why'd you grow it out? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Why, why don't you just be content with what you got there? 
And I think for some of the same reasons that Carlos has been playing around with his uh, beard, uh, playing around with different mustache shapes, playing around with um, the goatee and shorter beard, longer beard, is so that you can see variety on the guys here on Beard Brand. And um, you know, it gives guys an opportunity who are growing beards or who are looking to us for hair advice to see different hairstyles and to see a variety of different looks. Um, we have Eric who is sporting that mullet. And uh, we have uh, Carlos who is growing his hair longer now, but also uh, playing around with the way his facial hair looks. And you will be seeing me in the coming year um, playing around with my hair length. Ultimately getting towards maybe a medium long hair towards uh, December with a fuller beard. But between the beginning of January and the beginning of December, we got 11 months to be playing around uh, with cuts and uh, be playing around with, do I dare say, shaving and uh, just be uh, playing around with the length of my hair that will get me from point A to point B at the beginning of December. So you're going to have to stay tuned to see what those looks will be. Hopefully you can be inspired or that you can say, hey, that's cool to see, hey, that size beard with that length hair or um, that bald head with that big beard or whatever the combination might be. You're going to have to stay tuned to see that. So what is your signature look? Um, my, apparently this is my signature look. Uh, do you have one? And does changing your hair or changing your beard length help you determine ultimately what that look is? Comment below and let us know. Look forward to reading them. And until we meet again. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.